is clear as we visit Bethesda home for the blind as our second stop for the Anyola Badmos Feed the Needy initiative and it is the fact that there is ability in disability. We have two more stops okay and we'll definitely be bringing you more of that right here. Make sure you stay tuned and make sure you catch the motivation to ensure that you also do something for the people around you stop as promised and yes it is the Bethesda school for the blind or home for the blind and I have the representative here with me please introduce yourself ma'am okay my name is Mrs. Chokma Ohakwe the director of Bethesda school please tell us ma we know we came into um, you know your home you're doing a great job with everyone here and we're here to visit and also drop some of the things that Enola Badmos has for um, you know some of your students here if I would call them that how do you feel about this visit I'm very very grateful because in uh, the situation we find ourselves it's not easy to somebody to eat talkless of giving somebody out that anybody you see that do that then you know that the person half out of God Enola Badmos have really shown us that he's a really caring person that uh, we don't know what to say, but we only say that God will bless her, bless her abundantly. Yeah. And uh, for those who are watching, um, what will you say to them about the work you're doing here? It, uh, you're not bad most for this kind of stuff. If one or two people can do this in our home, at least uh, uh, the less privileged one in our society will go a very long way. So I want them to look into the less privileged. With that less privilege, the world is not incomplete. They should help to put little effort to see that the less privileged one will not be suffering in Nigeria. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm grateful too. Right with me is one of the very creative, um, you know, occupants of this home. I call it home because I know it does feel like that for you. Please tell me your name. I'm Ogunbe Enitwa Bimbola, a student of Bethesda for the Blind and also a student from the University of Ibadan. Currently in my final year studying guidance and counseling. Amazing. Do you want to tell me about your stay in this home? How has it been? The training and everything? It has been wonderful and beautiful, I can tell you. But at the same time, it has been full of challenges here and there. Bethesda for the Blind is a non-governmental organization. And because it's a non-governmental organization, we lack so many things. As, as it being a non-governmental organization, such as assistive materials that we make use of in the university, such as laptop computers, guide cane, tape recorders, and even our school fees and monthly allowance. Mommy Chioma, which, which is the, um, what's it called, the founder of the home, cannot do it alone. She understands me. So it hasn't been easy, but we thank God, we bless God for you coming around to put a smile on our faces. And we believe that one way or the other, you help us tell the general world, the whole public, that we still need more of them. Because it's not easy at all to probably send over 186 students to federal universities of their choices to make them what they've ought to be, to make them achieve those dreams that they want to achieve in life. If there is one thing you can tell from the conversation we're having here right now is that disability is definitely not the end of the world. Exactly. There is definitely ability in disability. You want to tell us a bit about that? Um, in Bethesda for the Blind, Bethesda for the Blind has actually made me see things in that view that um, disability is not the end of the world. It, um, rather, it brings out the potentiality of God into reality. Mm -hmm. For example, in Bethesda for the Blind, Mommy Choma helps us to teaches us how to cook, to be self-independent, so we won't be a liability to others outside there. 
and not just that, our clothes, our washing and everything is done by we. I'm very sure you'll be wondering, probably maybe before we came down to, to welcome you guys, you were thinking maybe someone dressed us up. This is just the doing of Momichoma and God. She understand me, the cooking, and we also make use of beads to create different kinds of things, such as bags, key holders, pulpits, things you can even think of. Even musically, she is there. She, 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 she makes sure she gets um, musical instruments such as keyboard, drum sets, guitar, bass, everything, to just to make sure, yes, we are musically inclined. We are not outside the world. We want to be socialized. We want to know, we want to mix, we want to mingle with those ones outside there. This is really beautiful and if you're watching this, one thing we're saying is Enola Badmos has set the ball rolling and you can pick it up from where it is right now to ensure that you reach out to this very amazing organization who is doing a great job for the people with disability. What would you say to Enola Badmos and every other I person? I say a very big thank you to our mommy, the most beautiful and I actually called her my role model for the fact that she came around to just put smile on our faces. You don't know what it means to us. Do you think it's actually easy for those ones that are they have two eyes, but still they can't even see our mommy or um, um, any other bad news. But we are seeing her free of charge. So I want to say a very big thank you to you, mommy, that God bless you. The old students of Bethesda, oh, we love you. We, we appreciate you for coming around to, to make us smile again. Thank you very much, mommy. God bless you, ma. Thank you so much and Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's our second stop. I know it's a long day already, but you must be feeling proud and motivated seeing the welcome you got from the student of Bethesda Home for the Blind. How does it make you feel, really? I must say, <laughs> that was wonderful. Very, very. I've never seen such before. I mean, that was beautiful. And I spoke to the student. They, some of them spoke about the fact that you are their role model. Wow. And, you know, they also had good stuff to say about how... They really have people come visit them like this. This must really make you excited, knowing that you specifically specifically chose this home. Okay, like I said earlier, um, we just decided that we don't want to go to the usual place anymore. Let's just spread love among, I mean, across other people. So that was why we chose the old people's home, the blind center, and other places too. So I mean, I, I kind of like the reception here. Yeah, this is massive. I mean, people that you, you brought stuff for, and look at the reception they gave you they welcomed us so well my head is swelling <laughs> if there's something i said earlier and it is the fact that there is ability in disability look at how they speak so well look so good what would be your message to people who are suffering this kind of condition never look down on anyone everybody's got talent what i saw today i mean i was quite overwhelming i mean it was quite overwhelming but i mean like i said if you've got talent flunk it show it let the world see it thank you so much and on to the next one remember you're still locked to eniola badmos tv keep it locked down Subscribe to Eniola Bibles TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Eniola Bibles TV Entertainment.